I am a professor, associate professor Ana Domingos. Uh, I'm an associate professor of neuroscience in the Department of Physiology, Anatomy and Genetics at the University of Oxford. And I'm also a tutor of medicine uh, at the Lady Margaret Hall. The biological study of obesity uh, is a fairly recent uh, endeavor. I am deeply interested in obesity and I think about obesity as a biological problem. So uh, most people think about, about obesity as an energetic problem in which you eat too much, you exercise too little, that for, therefore you gain weight. Uh, I have a, a vision that that's not just it. Uh, I think that biology uh, has a number of ways to trick our intuition and we need to understand more about the biology of this disease. During my postdoctoral years at the Rockefeller University in New York, uh, I started learning about obesity uh, with uh, Jeffrey Friedman, who was the researcher who identified the hormone leptin. The discovery of this hormone was uh, an entry point into understanding obesity under a different conceptual paradigm. And leptin is produced by the adipose tissue in amounts that are proportional to the amount of fat and they tell brain how much fat you have. So in the absence of a functional hormone, people and animals, they become extremely obese and they really have no voluntary control over their condition. As a professor of neuroscience, I am interested in, uh, in the nervous system. So most people think that when they think about nervous system, they think about brain. But there's also a nervous system outside of the brain that it's in close communication with the brain. And the nervous system that my lab is researching is the sympathetic nervous system. Now, the sympathetic nervous system doesn't exist in isolation with, with other systems, such as the immune system. If you intersect different disciplines, you run into new knowledge uh, and perhaps you'll um, run into different paradigms that will make you understand uh, things differently. So uh, different disciplines that I've been integrating are neuroscience and immunology. And there's a new field emerging called uh, neuroimmunity or neuroimmunology, in which you try to understand how do, do, do immune cells uh, crosstalk with neurons and vice versa. Now we look at the behavior of these neurons in the context of physiological processes. And one of the physiological processes that my lab is devoted to is the maintenance of body weight. So we call this uh, body weight homeostasis. And in layman terms, is basically whether you become obese or you become too thin. Uh, so there's biological processes that are controlling the amount of fat that the body accumulates. My laboratory uh, researches uh, biological processes that control obesity and we have identified a population of neurons that innervates the, the fat path and directly controls the amount of fat uh, that your body accumulates. We also discovered that there's uh, cells named macrophages that associate with these neurons and directly control the output of those neurons. And we demonstrated that if you con can control the activity of these macrophages, then we can mitigate obesity. And obesity is a public health concern. So this is when biology plays a big role. And it demonstrates that if we are able to understand what are the biological components of a disease, then we have hopes to treat that disease. Oxford is a wonderful place to study physiology, so there couldn't be a better place to study obesity other than Oxford.